this video is on normal distribution. In today's video, I am going to explain a problem that is ready on the screen. See here, suppose the weights of 800 main students are normally distributed with mean 140 pounds and the standard deviation 10 pounds. See here, the standard deviation 10 pounds. Find the number of the students whose weights are between 138 and 148 pounds. And next one, the second question is more than 152 pounds. See here, what is given? Suppose the weights of how many male male students, that is 800 and male students are normally distributed. Here, here it is very clear uh, that we have to use normal distribution with mean 140 pounds and standard deviation sigma as 10 pounds. And now we have to find the number of the students whose weights are between 138 and 148 pounds and more than 152 pounds. See, very clearly given, mu is given, mu is given as 140, standard deviation sigma is given as 10 pounds and we have to find the weights in between 138 and 148. That is the first question. See here, in the solution, let mu be the mean and sigma be the standard deviation given mu is equal to 140 pounds and sigma is equal to standard deviation is equal to 10 pounds first question is in between 138 and 148 pounds see here when x is equal to when x is equal to 138 see what happens what will be the z value when x is equal to this is 138 z is equal to what is the formula for z z is equal to x minus mu by sigma. So, if I substitute the x value as 138, what is mu value? This is 140 and the sigma value here is 10. See, this is 138, 138 minus 140 divided by 10. The value here is minus 0.2. So, this is minus uh, 0 0.2 and let it be Z1. The value here is Z1. So, we got the Z1 value as minus 0 0.2. So, if it's negative, so we have to plot on the left side of the ordinate. And next one, when X is equal to, so between 138 and 148. So, next time taking X is equal to 148. For x is equal to 148, what will be the z value? z is equal to x minus mu by sigma. So, this will be 148, 148 minus 140 by 10. So, clearly, if you see this one, 148 minus 140 is 8 by 10, which is equal to 0 0.8. So, this is a positive value and let it be z2. See here, we got the value as Z2 as 0 0.8. So, this is a positive value. Now, we have to show it in the figure, normal distribution curve. So, what is this normal distribution curve? See, I'll show you. So, this is the curve. So, X is equal to, so this value is X is equal to mu. So, this is, this tends to, or tapers to plus infinity and this tapers to minus infinity. When x is equal to 138, what is the value? When x is equal to 138, it is minus 0 0.2. If we consider this as z is equal to 0, see here, if you consider this as z is equal to 0, so this will be minus 0 0.2. So, when x is equal to 138, see here, x is equal to 138, so this will be minus 0 0.2 and next one when x is equal to 148 what is the value for x is equal to 148 the value here is 0 0.8 so this is also slightly here so when x is equal to 148 z value is equal to plus 0 0.8 so what is the region required so this is the required area so this is from 0 to Z1 and this is from 0 to Z2. So, this is from 0 to Z1 and this is Z2. So, consider this as Z2 and this as Z1. Now, we need this area and see here from 0 to Z1 area plus 0 to Z2 area. Now, see here the probability of. Now, the probability between 138 
less than or equal to x less than or equal to 148 which means that so in terms of z we can write this as for 148 the value of z is minus 0 0.2 less than or equal to z less than or equal to for 148 the value here is 0 0.8 the 0 0.8 that is so area of z2 plus area of z1 what is area of z2 z2 is nothing but 0 0.8 and z1 is nothing but minus 0 0.2 as there is no negative area so for normal distribution we can take this as a positive one that is 0 0.2 so from the table see here so the value for 0 0.8 is see here 0 0.8 and 0 is 0 0.2881 so the value here is 0 0.2881 and see here 0 0.2 under 0 this is 0 0.2 under 0 is 0 0.0793 0 0.0793 therefore after addition this value will be 0 0.3674 see here we got the value as between the weights between 138 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 148 is 0 0.3674 therefore see here hence the number of the students whose weight are hence hence the number of students hence the number of the students whose weight are between 138 so between 138 pounds and 148 pounds is 0 0.3674 into how many students are there 800 students are there Therefore, it is approximately 298 students have the weight in between 138 and 148. And what is the second question here? More than 152 pounds. See here. The second, the second question here is more than 152 pounds. Solution 2. So, solution 2 is for x is equal to when x is equal to 152 let's find out the z value so z is equal to x minus mu by sigma see here so this will be 152 minus mu so the mu value is equal to 140 by the standard deviation is nothing but 10 so this is uh, nothing but 152 minus 140 is 12 by 10. This is 1.2. Say this value is Z1. See here more than. So more than means which is greater than. So if you plot this in the normal distribution curve. So this is minus infinity and this value is plus infinity. So this is nothing but X is equal to mu. For z value for x is equal to 158, the value here is. So if it is z is equal to 0, so z is 1.2. As it is a positive value, we have to plot towards the right side of the ordinate that is 1.2. For which value? X is equal to 152. X is equal to 152. It is more than. So more than means the value we have to consider this value. For more than this one. Instead of calculating from this end to this end. Up to plus infinity. So it will be easier to calculate the value that is 0 0.5 minus this value. Z is equal to Z. So in between Z is equal to 0 to Z is equal to 1.2. Therefore probability of uh, X greater than 152. It is easy to calculate. So instead of calculating from z greater than z1 so z greater than this is a z1 so this is z and this is z1 so this is 0 0.5 so if you subtract from 0 0.5 minus this area so this area if you subtract 
then we'll be getting this area therefore this is 0 0.5 minus the area of z1 that is 0 0.5 minus area at 1.2 so that is 0 0.5 minus 1.2 under 0 so this is 1.2 under 0 the value here is 0 0.3849 that is 0 0.3849 so, after subtracting, we will be getting the value 0 0.1151. So, this is the value for x greater than 152. Therefore, the number of students whose weight are more than 152 is. Therefore, the number of uh, students whose weight, the number of students whose weight whose weights are more than 152 pounds is one sorry 800 into 0 0.1151 see here so this is the value that is 800 into 0 0.1151 approximately 92 there are 92 students whose weight are more than 152 pounds so this is how we have to plot and this is the area instead of calculating more than 152 it is easier to calculate or subtract from 1.5 to this area z2 z1 so we'll be getting the same value therefore there are approximately 92 students and this is how we have to solve go through this video if you don't understand definitely you can understand so if you really like pass it on to your friends and subscribe to this channel